Hello and welcome back to Baton Kaitos, where today we're going to be moving on to Disc 2 content. But first, we've got some stuff to do in the church here. I uh, did quite a bit of farming. Unfortunately, I didn't find any more uh, wind swords for Callus, but that's fine. We got other stuff. Everyone else got some nice things. And hey, we're giving this guy some constellations. That is a tiny little constellation. Oh, hey. We can actually make use of that brilliant horn right away. Because I've got Liud set to having a light deck right now. Because we've got a bunch of brilliant horns. And I had to use these two to basically fill out the deck. So getting a new brilliant horn is nice. And considering Brilliant Horns are better than Devil UFOs and significantly better than Shadow Cornets. Yeah, I decided let's use them. And then we go on up here. Because we do have a bunch of XP to divvy out. And also we do have to class up Mizuti. Of course, Mizuri is still hopelessly behind in terms of levels. Well, I guess three levels isn't hopeless. But in terms of experience, she is very, very behind. And now I'm going to have to put more cards in her deck. Like pretty much everyone but Mizuti is level 30. Alright, so Mizuti, let's get you some cards. Unfortunately, we don't really have that much to give her. Yeah, I guess we can. Give her some more Light Flare 3s. And... I guess some level 2 Chronos Blows and Light Flares. And then we want some defense stuff, probably. I mean, I guess since these are the highest defense we can give her, which is really unfortunate. Let's toss three of those in, and then let's see if we've got any curatives that we could give her. Unfortunately, most of my curatives are dead now. So... Persimmons, maybe? Orange is a little bit more healing. Actually, the cedar tree sap is also pretty all right. It's looking like... Ah, wait. Deluxe pickles. All right. And we don't seem to have any last night's curry yet. Which is a shame, because last night's curry is good, but it also takes a while to make. As the name implies... 24 hours from getting the curry card, it becomes last night's curry and is even better. But now that we've done all that, it's time for us to make our way over to disc two.
So we go up here, and then I believe this room to the left is where we're meant to go. It sure is. We are ready. Don't worry, we're fine. And away we go. Leaving the poor Mindir behind. Sure. And here we are. Had a little cut in there, but... It was just me changing the disc. Hope you don't mind. They sure are marching. Awful lot of them to receive just one boat. Which is good because we're all just standing out here in the open. Let's find out what the Emperor and Giacomo's men are up to. What if we can't find them? Then we should go to my residence. Both my brother and sister are soldiers. They must know something. And nothing at all bad could happen by exposing ourselves to them. Are you sure it's okay? We don't have to go if you're not comfortable with it, Luke. If something happens, your family will get into trouble. It's fine. Besides, time is growing more scarce as we speak. Then what are we waiting for? All right. Uh, good to see these Imperial Guardsmen just show up here and not at all care about us. Yep, you keep not questioning anything, buddy. So we got to talk to this guy up here. And there's another name on our list. We can get over here and say hello to that. But also, for some reason, this was hidden here. Uh, 
And then we open this. Oh, that's a very interesting Viking helmet. Hey, uh, you seem to like poodle things. Jackamo. All right, so now we just move on. Oops. Sorry, kid. Huh? You okay, little guy? Why do uncivilized citizens such as yourself even set foot in our glorious imperial capital? Oh, brother. Might you quickly step aside? Because I'm a very busy person, unlike you. Or are you thinking that I should step out of the way? Is that it? Ha! Well, I mean, you're way smaller, and how busy could you be? You're a kid. What? Those with the most power always come out on top. That's how the world is. You're all adults. Don't tell me you weren't aware of that simple fact. People like me, who are highly educated and naturally talented, must rule the inferiors who ever grow up. It's not a right you've been granted, but a duty you must fulfill as the chosen people. Is that so? Hopefully, this little talk has made you realize why I'm so busy. Can your kind comprehend such talk? Oh, I can comprehend it. I just think you're a... Uh... You're a little out of your depth, kid. What was that all about? Were you taught to act like that in school too, dude? No, I was homeschooled. Almar, a foster nurse of mine gave me private lessons. So now we go in here, and doesn't he look like he isn't at all totally just after all the money we have? But hey, we probably got stuff to sell. Yes, we have got stuff to sell. Clearly, some of these are a little more overexposed than others. But that's fine. Now, what can we buy? Ooh, we probably need this tongue birdie for Mizuti. And an arm bomber would be nice. We've got plenty of blue sky mail. Though, some more magic beans are probably a good investment. Wind blow, also good. Bamboo shoot, we actually need some bamboo to grow. Wow, that's a lot of uncooked rice. I'm gonna buy the kebabs because we can. I'm gonna buy this. And then I think we're pretty alright from there. Yeah. Okay. So let's see how that tongue birdie compares to Mizuti's birdie, except we want equip, not use. Okay, drops the sleep res, gains para and flame res, and the stats all go up. Okay, so now we go up here. And we go into the building at the end. I'm beginning to think this might not have been the correct way. Or er, wait, nope. Let me in, there we go.
Perhaps outsiders like yourself don't know that there was once a genius of the after living here. Was there? That doctor designed the very first Imperial Wingland and the famed battleship Goldova to boot. But as you may know, there's a fine line between pure genius and absolute insanity. Oh. He became obsessed with some sort of dangerous research. Night after night, he would perform this research in secret. On one of those nights, a huge explosion enveloped his laboratory in flames and took the poor doctor's life. That was over 10 years ago. His obsession was said to be some dreadful and forbidden type of research. Even today, no one is supposed to talk about that doctor. And here you are telling the first people who came into your door about him. Like, seriously, do you just tell everyone who comes into your house? Also, is it really such a good idea to have the insides of houses spew steam like this? Seems like a problem. Like, it... But, I'm sure it makes like a sound, not that such a sound happens in game. And that would be really annoying when trying to sleep. Not to mention steam tends to be hot. And now we go on down here. And then over here. We ignore that building because there's nothing in it. Hear ye, people of the great imperial capital, elite citizens of our mighty empire. By nature, it is our duty to guide the foolish people of other nations and rule the world with great authority. Oh. Behold, our scientific achievements and superb military force. What a pleasant fellow. Now, if y'all don't mind, I'm just gonna tuck in here. Hello, chests. go upstairs. Hey, did you hear the news? Seems there was quite a ruckus in Diadem. Yeah, that was a while ago. I heard a lot of people got hurt pretty bad. Yeah, the Royal Knights were supposedly preparing for battle with the Empire in secret. Remember that young punk who caused a lot of trouble and was exiled at Diadem? Yeah, the guy who's in this very room right now. Seems he's turned his back on the Empire and works with the enemy now. You mean that idiot caught up in the Aza incident a couple of years ago? The one who turned on his superior officer? Oh, man! What got into him? It's just unbelievable. How could he betray his own country and side with the barbarians? Maybe they're not barbarians, huh? Some people just don't have what it takes to keep up with the Empire. That are just a bad apple, plain and simple. That's why the exile. Dude, why exactly were you transferred to Diet in any way? 
Didn't you just hear it? Didn't you just hear the soldiers? Wow. He, uh, took the words from me. There's a small village called Aza, just south of Mintaka. The unit I used to belong to was ordered to raid that village. I objected to the order and confronted my commander. I refused to take part in that mission, and was supposed to be court-martialed because of it. But because of my family, which has served the Emperor for generations, they demoted me instead. Hence my transfer to Diadem. My brother and sister were high-rank officers as well. Operation Sweep in Aza. Okay, that's enough chit-chat about the past for today. Time to move. No time for tiddlywinks if we want to save the world before supper. I don't think we were playing tiddlywinks, Gibari. Hey, look, everyone's gone. Apparently there's actually nothing to get in here, but let's talk to these people. So you, you prove your loyalty by having your son get accepted? How does that work? Also, I'm just going to trap this right now because if we let it age, it turns into something that I don't have yet. Okay. Bye then. Don't need to talk to your kid anyway. So now we go back out. And then we go this way, because there's not a crowd in the way anymore. And we keep going this way. And then we go inside. Please enter by all means. This is my, or was, my home. I want that chest. My family has belonged to the Imperial Army for generations, but I caused a lot of problems. My brother and sister may never forgive me. What about your parents? They died when I was very young. My mother died just after I was born, and my father died in action. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. I was raised by a wonderful foster nurse named Almard. She was always so kind to me. Speaking of whom? Oh, it's my boy. Welcome home, Lude. Hi, Almard. Long time no... Never thought I'd see you back here. Brother! Sister! Uh-oh. See, this is what I was trying to tell you earlier, Liud. Come over here. This is your chance to rejoin the Empire. Just hand them over to us, and you're back in. What are you waiting for? Come to us and you. You know what to do. And I'm sure there'll be no stain whatsoever on his record for having defected in the first place. You, you set us up, didn't you? 
It's not that simple, Callus. You didn't do nothing. How can you point a gun at your own brother? Says the guy who's basically doing the same thing. Brother! He only stopped by to get some details about the Emperor. What he's been up to. Please, let us go. No! If I let you go, our family is finished. Have you lost your mind, dude? Uh... If we just up and let you go, Valley and I will be executed for treason. If you insist on going with them, you'll have to get through us first. No. I can't do it. I can't shoot my brother and sister. You made it. You haven't changed a bit. It must be the stone carver's blood in your veins. <sighs> You've disgraced our family name beyond redemption. How could you be such a coward? It's time to erase the stigma. Goodbye, you. No! You! Next time, I won't miss. I'm serious. Okay. Elmar? Emperor Gildeblame is aboard the battleship Goldoba, hovering in the sky above Mintaka at this very moment. Go, my dear child. But you... Don't worry about me. Hurry! <gasps> you were a bit too slow there, Liud. She told you to hurry. No! Damn! They're gonna mow us down, house and all! Please, go! I only just noticed this house is at kind of a strange angle. I won't leave you here. Don't be foolish. There are things you must do. No. No, there's Since nothing he must do. To attack my village, Asa. For me, this whole mess. No, Almar. It's not your fault. Don't talk like that. Go now. Hurry, Lude, my darling boy. Oh. Elmar? Elmar! Lude, we have to go. They have the entrance to the house covered. We have to sneak out through the back. Okay, but can I grab the chest first? That's a no then. They found us! Did they? Dang, can't get back in. So there's actually two flavors of Imperial here, and we need photos of both of them because they are missable. So we're just going to go ahead and actually we're not going to go much farther because that guy is one of the rarer types, and we want him alive for photography's sake. Oh, hey. Uh... Really? Look normal? That's what you're going to tell him? Special attack, freeze 
And there we go. That's one down. Now we just need photos of these other guys. And then we'll have gotten the missable stuff. Oh, hey! How nice to get the photos we need in round one. It's also worth noting that it is technically a pretty good idea to actually farm these guys for stuff because they can drop some nice things but I've already done so much farming recently that I'm feeling kind of not super into that idea oh hey we can make some more sacred wine We can actually use sacred wine to use make this. sacred wine. Here. As long as you put some wine into the Holy Grail, you get it, really. And this is what confusion does. It's a delight, Whoa. let me tell you. Especially when you're trying to actually get a straight. Wow, I wasn't even trying and I managed to get a three pair. Like, seriously, I was just hitting things. Okay. Now to get rid of this last guy, I really should have had Callus target a fresh food. to inhale and then vomit him back out, Mizuri. That was way too easy. So we could take the sacred wine, but I think I'm actually going to take this elite imperial guard. Simply because cash. We can always make more sacred wine. I've already got actually quite a bit. Oh, hey. Don't move. We're getting lucky with the cameras today. If only we had a six. I kind of wish Chronos Blow wasn't such a slow animation. It's the slowest spell. Time that was. Ooh, strawberries. With that, we're actually going to put some stuff in Mizuti's deck. So let's find the weakest attack she's got. What do you know? That's exactly enough things. And then we go to found. We need the strawberries. And we need some sugar. I know we've got sugar. There's some sugar. And then we need some milk. And now we can make strawberry milk. Also, strawberries, sugar, and fire can make some strawberry jam, which is also good. So yeah, we've got some nice stuff coming. And yet, we still haven't found any of the actually good stuff these guys can drop. Okay, let's get punching. Looks like we'll be able to make some uh, more sacred wine, just in case they don't drop anything of value. Perhaps using Fire Burst was not the greatest course of action there. I really wish Mizuti wasn't so bad. Because, like... Basically, when she's the same level as Shella, she's just a more durable Shella. And 
uh, more durable, but does less damage. So, basically, her, like, best role in the party is just pretty much as a pure healer, which isn't crazy helpful. I mean, you could theoretically have her be a healer build and get by just fine, but it feels like a waste of one of three party slots. All right, let's go ahead and just have you heal yourself there, Mizuti. And sure, you can take a photo of yourself. After all, Mizuti's the only party member I don't have a rare photo of yet. I managed to get rare photos of everyone else off camera. And Talos doesn't get to do much more than this. I've got plenty of blue sky mail. More than enough. The only reason I've got so much of it in Callus's deck is simply because that stuff's got so much physical resistance that it's better than most of my other armors anyway. Like, even if you just count the wind res as nothing at all, the physical res is high enough that it outperforms a lot of my other armors. And so we've got a lot of it. Probably too much, though. I really need to get Callus's deck thinned out on Defense Magnus because his attack Magnus can also be used as Defense that. Magnus. All right, not rare, but I think I'll take this Veda Cornet. Getting Liud more damage is good. What a waste of time. All right, looks like we got plenty of ones, but we've also got one, two, three, four, and five. And this guy's probably dead after this. Here's your first hell. Special attack freezing at Yeah, just a little dead. That was way too easy. Ooh. Some light magnus for Kibari. Really making me want to farm here to get more of those, but I will resist the temptation. Don't be thinking you can beat. All right, let's see here. Eight, seven, seven, eight, five, and a five. There we go. All right. And we get another full straight here. Two turns, two kills, not bad. All right, we don't really have much we can do here, but we'll see. Nope. No straights or nothing. At least they're weak to light. Put this guy out of his misery. And we'll just leave it right there because he is more than dead. Death Pendulum is certainly an interesting thing. They're pretty good. I wish they weren't combo two, but we'll still take it because pretty good. A 
Hello, sir. You must be very brave to fight the great Mizuki. Really? All by yourself, buddy? And one of the instances where a camera can add quite a bit of damage. Oh, we can get more rainbow straw hats here. Those are pretty nice, but I'm not going to farm for them here. So now we're here. Oh. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, why didn't we all this teleport no on board at once? Lead. gotta keep your head up and move on. There's no turning back now for any of us. Hmm? There's three of them? So how did you not spot it on your way in? It's not exactly small, and it doesn't look like the sky is too cloudy. Incidentally, many people consider this to be the hardest area in the game, so we got that to look forward to. But that also means that if we don't have any trouble here, then we're not going to have trouble anywhere. I'm sure I've done more than enough grinding to make things considerably easier anyway. That'll hopefully be this one dead. Yep. Is that all you got? Thankfully, they do purely physical damage, meaning it's fairly easy to block. They're weak to light. that they're another one of the enemy types that has their first attack come out really fast. Good job, Savina. You're being super helpful having just Holy Grails. Use this. Here. All right, Callus, let's get rid of a fresh one, shall we? That should be a lethal thing. Destructive impact. Release. Sword style. Yep, that thing is dead. We do need to take a photo of these, but there are plenty more to fight. Fire. 
I wonder if this will be lethal. Mizuti, I don't think, is quite strong enough to really do it in one round. Not with less than a straight, I don't think. Oh, I guess it is dead. Good job, Mizuti. Oh, that's right, because that one had already been hurt. All right, let's go inside. Oh, hey. New water attack things for Savina. to save right here because it's time for this episode to end so join us next time when we get to wrecking the place up see you then friends <laughs> <laughs>